This is just a quick lesson on how to uh, look at your grades in a course if you're a student and also there's a report that shows how often you've accessed a course and what you've accessed. That can be useful if you haven't been working in a course for a while and wonder where you left off. If, or if you're a teacher or a parent and want to see um, how often a student has been working in the course and what they've been accessing, that's useful for that as well. Uh, so first of all, what we want to do is we want to um, log in as the student up here in the left-hand corner. And that will bring you into their home screen. And it could look um, a little bit different. There could be different messages in the middle, um, that sort of thing. Um, different video, this video is in the bottom probably. But the, your list of courses will be here. So you just uh, pick a course that you want to go into. Uh, I guess we'll pick this one here at the top. And here we are. So now every course is going to have a slightly different look. There may be a calendar here. There may not be. Um, uh, there may be, um, you know, these what we call blocks on the side here. Um, there's always going to be an administration block. Now it could be on the left or it could be on the right. Um, it may be in a different order. But notice that in that administration block we've got a link to grades. And so the first thing to do is if you want to see how you're doing in this course is click on the grades link. And here we are. You can see um, all your grades to date in that course. They're all laid out there and this uh, student has almost um, finished the course it looks like. Just a few more units to go. Then we'll just go back. Um, now you can use these breadcrumbs up in the top here to go back or you can just um, click the back button I guess. Um, but we'll go back to the, the main biology screen here. And um, you'll see that other thing in the admin block here is the profile settings. And if we open that up, um, we can edit our profile. That's your name and you know things like that. You, every student has a blog. Now there's a setting that teachers can set that would have activity reports in this um, area here as well. See that there's, it's not here now, so this teacher hasn't um, enabled that. So if this happens to you, you just mention it to your teacher and they can enable it for you because um, we often forget. So I'm just going to go and enable it right now. Okay, I, uh, I clicked the Show Activities Settings button in the Course Settings for that teacher. Uh, I just thought I'd mention that because it's, it's not a default setting and it's easy for people to forget doing that when they're setting up courses, but it's an easy thing to turn on. So now when you open this up, you can see that um, there's an activity reports here and this is um, there's a number of reports here the one that you'll probably find the most useful is the outline report and when I click on that you can see that um, there's an outline of the entire course there um, you can see that the dates that you've accessed the course or each thing in the course and how many views you've had, you can see your marks there and see if I want to go down here, I remember the students just about finished, you can see that they've, they've gone up to unit um, 10, they haven't done the quizzes yet, every grade will be there, every um, lesson, um, you can see how often you know, you've accessed it and when you last did it, so that can be a very useful report. So I hope that um, helps you um, see what's going on in your courses.